In the unforgiving environment of the northern Caspian Sea lies one of the world's largest offshore oil fields, Kashagan. This colossal project, situated in shallow waters, has transformed Kazakhstan's energy sector with its estimated 13 billion barrels of recoverable crude oil. It stands as one of the world's most important non-OPEC sources of energy. Facing extreme temperatures, ice, and highly pressurized reservoirs, the journey to production was far from smooth. Delays and cost overruns pushed the project's price tag beyond $55 billion, making it one of the most expensive energy ventures globally. Despite these obstacles, Kashigan now produces hundreds of thousands of barrels of oil each day, marking a significant contribution to global energy supplies. Its construction, marked by innovative solutions to overcome harsh conditions, is an engineering marvel. But as the field operates at full scale, could future hurdles still jeopardize its long-term success? In 1992, Kazakhstan, newly independent, launched an ambitious exploration program to tap into the potential wealth of the Caspian Sea. This marked the beginning of a monumental project that would later lead to the discovery of one of the world's largest oil fields. By 1997, after years of seismic surveys, the northern Caspian Sea was confirmed to hold vast reserves beneath its shallow waters. Then, in July 2000, the Kashigan field was discovered, making headlines as the largest oil find in the past 30 years and the biggest outside the Middle East. Kashigan, located roughly 80 kilometers offshore in the North Caspian, was estimated to hold around 13 billion barrels of recoverable oil. This discovery positioned Kazakhstan as a future major player in the global oil market. The field's significance lay not only in its size, but in its potential to meet the growing global demand for energy. However, the conditions were far from easy. The northern Caspian Sea presented a range of challenges, including freezing winters, ice formation, and shallow waters, all of which made traditional offshore production methods unsuitable. To overcome these challenges, a network of artificial islands was built to support the extraction process. These islands, designed to withstand the harsh climate and ice drifts, became the operational hubs for the project. Beneath the seabed, the reservoir lay more than 4 kilometers deep, with oil trapped under immense pressure and laced with high concentrations of hydrogen sulfide. These conditions required advanced technology and strict safety measures to ensure safe and efficient extraction. Yet, despite its enormous potential, the development of Kashigan was plagued with technical delays, escalating costs, and environmental concerns. But how did Kazakhstan manage to overcome the daunting challenges posed by such a harsh climate and treacherous environment? The first phase of development centered around constructing a series of artificial islands, which would serve as the operational hubs for extracting the oil trapped beneath the seabed. The most significant of these, known as Island D, was a monumental structure built to withstand the extreme weather conditions of the region. Construction began with the formation of sturdy platforms using millions of tons of limestone designed not only to support the infrastructure but to also act as barriers against the thick ice sheets that enveloped the Caspian during winter. Each island became a self-contained unit with oil wells, production facilities, and processing hubs. The platforms were connected by an extensive network of pipelines, some stretching over 90 kilometers, running under the seabed to transport the crude oil to onshore facilities. These pipelines were a crucial lifeline for the project, responsible for moving the extracted hydrocarbons from the islands to the coastal processing plants for refining and export. The onshore processing hub, constructed in tandem with the offshore platforms, was another critical component of the project. This facility, located at Bolashak, was designed to handle large volumes of crude oil and gas. 
Here, the oil underwent a multi-stage process that involved separation, purification, and stabilization. The onshore plant was equipped with state-of-the-art technology to remove hazardous gases like hydrogen sulfide and carbon dioxide, making the oil safer to handle and export. Part of the gas separated at the facility was re-injected into the reservoir to help maintain pressure, while the remaining gas was processed and sent to market as sales gas. The field was also home to a vast network of pipelines that linked the offshore production platforms to the onshore processing facilities. The construction of these pipelines was a technical challenge in itself. Stretching over 500 kilometers in total length, they had to traverse a seabed prone to shifting ice flows and freezing temperatures. Special corrosion-resistant materials were used to ensure the pipelines could withstand the harsh environment and the highly corrosive hydrogen sulfide present in the extracted oil. In addition to transporting oil, the pipelines also played a role in moving sulfur, a byproduct of the gas purification process, which was then exported via rail for commercial use. This system of interconnected pipelines, coupled with the advanced onshore facilities, allowed for the seamless extraction, processing, and transportation of hydrocarbons on an unprecedented scale. The oil wells themselves were drilled deep below the seabed, reaching depths of more than 4 kilometers. Given the high pressure and the presence of hydrogen sulfide in the reservoir, drilling was no easy task. Specialized rigs were brought in, capable of drilling through the thick layers of rock to tap into the vast reserves of light crude oil. The drilling platforms were equipped with state-of-the-art technology to control the flow of oil and prevent dangerous blowouts, which could have catastrophic environmental consequences. The enormity of the project required the use of hundreds of thousands of tons of steel, concrete, and other materials. Offshore platforms were fortified with multiple layers of protection against the elements, including ice-resistant piles and thick berms to absorb the impact of drifting ice sheets. The platforms were also outfitted with advanced firefighting and safety systems, ensuring the safety of the thousands of workers stationed across the artificial islands. The field's operational design also included a network of facilities to handle emergencies, such as spills and blowouts. Given the proximity of the oil wells to environmentally sensitive areas, such as sturgeon spawning grounds and migratory bird routes, the project incorporated robust measures to contain and manage potential leaks. These included containment booms, specialized ships, and a system of impermeable barriers installed around key infrastructure to prevent the escape of oil into the surrounding waters. Despite all the technological innovations, the project faced numerous challenges from the beginning. One of the most significant issues arose shortly after production commenced in 2013. Almost immediately, the pipelines began to leak, with hydrogen sulfide corroding the metal at a rapid pace. This led to the shutdown of production and a lengthy and costly replacement of the original pipelines with new ones made from high-grade, corrosion-resistant materials. Winter in the northern Caspian Sea brings another set of challenges, with freezing waters obstructing sea transport for five months. Ice-breaking vessels equipped with reinforced hulls were crucial for maintaining supply lines. Moreover, the region's shallow waters made conventional drilling platforms unsuitable, necessitating the creation of a new floating platform. This platform needed to remain stable amid high winds and icy conditions, adding to the project's complexity. Adding to the complexity was the high pressure of the reservoir itself, making drilling dangerous and demanding advanced equipment. The oil, trapped beneath rock layers, combined with immense gas and oil pressure, required sophisticated techniques. Hydrogen sulfide, prevalent in the oil, posed severe risks, necessitating strict safety measures. Technical issues and corrosion further delayed the project, as materials had to be meticulously selected and inspected, causing significant cost overruns and extending the timeline. 
The pressure to meet production deadlines was constantly at odds with the harsh realities of operating in such an unforgiving environment. Each setback resulted in financial losses, and with overall development costs soaring to $55 billion, the stakes grew higher with every delay. Yet, despite the challenges and setbacks, the Kashigan project remains one of the most ambitious engineering feats in the world. The sheer scale of the construction, combined with the innovative solutions developed to overcome the harsh environment, makes it a case study of modern industrial achievement. The field is now fully operational, producing hundreds of thousands of barrels of oil per day and stands as a testament to human ingenuity and perseverance in the face of overwhelming obstacles. However, the question remains, as technology and ambition continue to push the boundaries of what's possible, what new challenges will arise in the future of offshore oil production? The Kashigan oil field may have set the bar, but the race to develop even more complex and environmentally sensitive projects is far from over. If you enjoyed this video, like, comment, and subscribe for more. Don't forget to turn on notifications for updates.